welcome back to my channel if you have never been here before my name is ashley and on this channel i give you business tips advice behind the scenes looks I'm also a mom of three so sometimes i'll talk about that though i try to keep the kids and the family stuff on our family channel me plus three tv all right so previously i told you guys um my favorite software and website to use for shipping my customer packages however there's been a lot of questions on different things. So I thought this would be a good time to just go through it, show you step by step, because I need to make a new account for the new shop. Um, and you can see how it is and we'll probably address some of the questions that you have. All right, you ready? Let's go. Go to pirateship.com. All right, so create a free account, but remember, this is just the homepage. It tells you it's the cheapest shipping rates for um, USPS, which is the postal service, so the post office. The chat box come up because they're really fast at responding to chat and your help and um, offering you help. They don't. I don't think they have a phone number, but the chat works really well. If they're not there, then they email you. But I've never. I don't usually work when um, they're not working, so it works out but no credit card required, no spam, no catch. I promise you, it works well. Um, they also tell you how this works, but we're gonna go through it. So create a free account. I am using <clears throat> um, my new store. Y'all, I can't type today. If you didn't know already, it's called She Manifested. I'm gonna create a password. And then we are gonna do, actually, I don't put my name in it. Like you can, but I don't. So I'm gonna put she manifested. Um, because, so if you use company, which is optional, it'll be on the second line. So like your name will be on the top and then your company name on the second line. I don't want that. So that's why I took that off. And then we're using P.O. Box. And, um, hmm. All right, so once my physical address, guess what? The post office's address. Mm -hmm. And DeKalb, I live in Illinois. I do not live in DeKalb though, no cap. That's Facts. I don't live in the cow. And then I'm gonna have to kind of just block this out, you guys. My business won't have. If you don't want um a a, a phone number, it'll just have email and chat like pirate ship. But if you don't want to use this as a return address on your shipping labels, then you click this. So I'm just gonna go for it. We're gonna create your account. I'll probably just edit it later for you guys, and then. I forget what each browser and what where the buttons are. All right, welcome aboard. Okay, so after you log in or you sign up, you get this welcome aboard pirate ship and everything else. Connect your e-commerce. So import from integrations. So this is what I'm saying: you have Big Cartel, Big Commerce, Chargeify. I've never heard of that one. Crate Joy, Etsy, Equid. I don't know. eBay, Discogs. Moon Clerk, Shopify, Squarespace, Subly, and WooCommerce. WooCommerce is for uh, WordPress. Um, I'm actually using Shopify, but I'm not going to import right now because my shop hasn't launched yet. So it's not going to do anything. There are no orders there. But you would click on one of those and it would literally guide you through the steps <laughs> to take to um, import your orders. But you can also click ship right now this is another thing so these are your options you can create a single layer label which means one address at a time you can upload a spreadsheet so if you have orders somewhere and they don't um integrate with pirate ship so you sell on another app or you have a website you self-host so but it's not through wordpress like you got a developer to build a custom website for you not through WordPress or anything else, or Shopify or any platform. You just sell on your own self-hosted website. All right, then I would probably suggest 
uploading like um copying and pasting those orders into a spreadsheet for multiple reasons not just to use pirate ship but also for your um your notes i know it holds it and stores it in your back end but um or your cart software whatever you're using for a cart but it would just be better like i said for several reasons when you're picking the order packing the orders when you've shipped when you're doing accounting you really do need that information in a separate location um, but you'll see that as you go along and see what works for you and your business everybody's different um so if you were just uploading a spreadsheet then you would do that but in this example today i'm gonna just do create a single layer label i don't know why i keep saying label layer y'all all right here's another thing it says paste address so if you copied it like somewhere um let's see fake address there we go uh generator oh nice all right oh i didn't oh okay i'm like this is some extraness all right so i'm gonna copy this one right and you see how it's like showing the entire thing the city like the actual word city you don't want to copy all of that the pirate ship is super smart see it took all of that information and sorted it kind of <laughs> kind of um just do this let's see no 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 or you can copy and paste it line by line but i've tried this before and it worked much better than this There we go. Um, we'll take this out. And we will take city out. Though we don't need to, it's already fixed itself. And then the person's name. So you can copy and paste. Or let's take this out. And then you can obviously just write everything here. Jennifer. Um, she probably she needs a last name, y'all. Don't ship y'all customer email uh, addresses parcels without last names packages uh one two three main street blah 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 but i'm gonna take this fake address again because i want to show you prices and how that comes up and how that looks so this is another thing right if you had just started typing then as soon as you got to law probably i don't know why it's doing that but it's constantly trying to ask me where, where, but we're going to Virginia. So Avenue for, for, we're just struggling here, but this is a fake order anyway. So we'll use that one. That's why though, it's a fake address. So it's not working that well, but we don't need rubber stamps, but all right. So it's going to ask you what address to ship it from. But remember, we only have one in here so far, but you can use multiple addresses. Um, this is where the post office, like where are you going to mail these out? Because that will determine your pricing. So if your office is in Wisconsin, but you're visiting Illinois today, but you want to ship packages out of Illinois to your customer, then put the Illinois address in as the ship from address. You can still make the return address something different. All right, this is what I was talking about too. So type of packaging this is box or rigid packaging any custom box or thick parcel right but if you're using a padded envelope or just one of the soft bags like a poly mailer then there's an option for that and they're going to tell you how to measure and use the length of, and width of the envelope before putting anything in it so flat they're going to show you how to do that they'll tell you how to measure or if you're using priority mail packages, which is free boxes from the post office, then those options are here as well. I will say though, it's free, right? But definitely pay attention to that because I ship with custom packaging for my business, but the actual shipping of it is cheaper than buying postal, um, than buying flat rate shipping, even though the box is free for flat rate shipping. So definitely pay attention because the actual you have to pay for priority mail if you're using a flat rate box, but they have different options. So medium flat rate, small flat rate, 
large flat rate if you don't know which one you have it's on the packaging they they 100 put it on the packaging so you don't have to think about it it literally is super simple you will probably never see these regional boxes um and then express is express so if you put your package if you put your products in an in express package and you pay for regular priority mail shipping the post office is gonna either charge you or your customer this is always but if you use pirate ship then the customer i mean then the post office will charge your account with pirate ship so it'll just take it out of the balance on pirate ship or pirate, pirate ship will charge you um that difference but you're gonna have to pay the difference i would prefer me paying the difference than my customer paying the difference because who wants to go pick up a package of something you ordered and paid for online and find out that you have to pay to get it you have to pay some more money to get it so let's not do that to our customers but for this we are gonna use a small flat rate box all right and it's gonna be two pounds well how about i'm gonna show you this too it's gonna be 14 ounces or 12 ounces. It's gonna be 12 ounces. Now, extra services, if you want signature confirmation, um, if you wanna include return labels, you need to go to chat, which is really simple. It's not a big ordeal, I promise you. Um, insurance, but you know, um, we're using priority mail, so priority mail already comes with a little insurance. If you need more, then you would pay for it there and media mail, but it also explains that here. Or you have hazardous materials, so perfume, nail polish, hairspray. If you need a custom form, a customs form is for uh, packages you're shipping out of the country. So overseas, international, you need a customs form to get that package through. And they literally, let's say I want it. See, look, merchandise or documents or gifts. And it literally goes through what I need to put in. Describe what you're shipping, how many, the total value, how much is the weight, which we already put in, right? You don't need a harmonization number. Um, really just depends on where you ship. I have only shipped to, I typically only ship to Canada. I have shipped to the Philippines before, but I've cut off my international sales. So it's just US and Canada. So for Canada, you don't need, <laughs> you don't need the harmonization number. Uh, and then, so I'm gonna take that off. We don't need that for our example. And then save package. So if you know that this is what you're, the packaging and the weight that you're gonna use a lot, then you can click save package. Let's say this is a t-shirt. So I'm going to save that as t-shirt, right? So that way, anytime I ship one t-shirt in this packaging, I don't have to refill out uh, the weight or what type of package it is. Like it's not, we didn't do that much on this one, but if it was my custom packaging, let's say in a poly bag, and that poly bag was 10 by what, 12? Is that a normal size maybe? Nope, 12 by 10. 12 is the length and 10 is the width. It will usually go like that and it's 12 ounces then you see i've already put like i've measured and put custom dimensions in it though i'd never measure them usually wherever you bought them from tells you how big they are or the packaging that they're wrapped in when you get them will tell you the measurements so take note of that keep that or look at it um yeah so if you click get rates so because i did not use the because I did not use the priority mail packaging, it's asking me my different options. So this would be for first class because I can use first class with that weight, those dimensions, and that blank packaging, not the post office's packaging. Um, I can use whatever shipping that I want, whatever, whatever method that I want. So retail is $5.60. So that means if you go to the post office and you go to the like store and the counter and you have them weigh it for you and you buy the postage there, then that's how much it costs. But for us, it's $4.12. Parcel ground, um, select ground. Actually, let me tell you, first class takes one to three days and it's the cheapest. Um, that's 26% of a discount, which, is, which adds up. One package, it sounds like a small discount, but when you have hundreds, it's a big amount. Um, parcel select two to eight days. Retail is eight twenty five. We're paying five seventy two. Priority mail, which is what we're talking about, so you can still use priority mail. It's eight twenty five. We're using seven sixty seven. And then the priority mail express is thirty two seventy five. Retail, we're paying twenty eight fifty five. 
All right, so you click that. And you click what day you're shipping it, and you would hit buy label. But I'm not buying this label. Um, they, they can't charge me, right? I haven't put any card information in here. You saw that, but you can put the card information in here. Um, instead of it charging for each order that you have. So if you order, um, if you have five orders and instead of it saying one label and it charges your credit card, five different payments, right? Five different charges. So for each order, it's a different charge. You can just load pirate ship like a prepaid card or something uh, you can just put money in your account so that you get one charge for 20 bucks versus four charges for five bucks or five charges for four bucks so i'm not gonna buy that because it was just an example but i wanted to tell you something else oh reports reports will show you how much is in your account remember like a prepaid card i just said that how many labels you have pending so they haven't been scanned in by the post office and how many refunds you've had refunds usually come if you don't use the um label that you made then after 30 days they'll automatically refund it or you can go to pirate ship and request a refund for that label um, how much you've paid in shipping carrier adjustments is like i was saying if you underpay or overpay for shipping then um they will put it back in your account. So if you pay too much, then they'll put the extra back into your pirate ship account. And you can use it for shipping again, or you can ask them to cash you out. It's really simple, I've done it before. Or um, if you overpaid, then that price will be right here too. How much you paid too much of, and the post office will charge you for it. Your average costs, which is super helpful. Average domestic, average international. And it also will tell you where you ship to. So while you go through, like that's a nice little like I've seen people kind of tick things off like that on how many states they've shipped to so this will definitely keep track of that as well and then your transaction history a cool thing I can't and then you can pick for how long you know to use that report the cool thing I can't show you because this is a brand new account is that if you ship to somebody um a lot when you go back to create label usually like the names that you've had pop up or if I start writing, look, you see, then it's going to bring every Jennifer that I've shipped to, but I've only shipped to her. So Jennifer Smith, then I look, click on that and look, her address went back up. So I don't have to redo that. So I, I love that. Um, also, because we've already saved a package, if you click on this, see, package details, instead of you um, don't use save package, which is the default, you can go here and remember it's a t-shirt. So now it's, it's taking me half the time to create and generate the label to get rates um on the home page on this page you see it says input needed because i didn't purchase it but usually after i purchase it it will say processing and um it will have the the shipping like the tracking number on it my bad so it'll have the tracking number on it but as it moves, and then it'll say, as it moves through the post office, this will update on your homepage. So instead of processing, it'll say, um, this once, it will say get label. So I'd print the label out. That's what this would turn into, input needed. But processing would change to shipped, accepted by the post office, shipped. It'll say in transit, and then delivered when it's delivered. <clears throat> you can also get delivery confirmation, but um, I'm trying to think of other things you guys have asked me on here. I told you super simple to get a refund. It'll keep all of your orders will be here. You can also search labels so that you don't have to. Um, there's nothing here. <laughs> it's picking up orders from my past ones. So, so you don't have to go through and remember everybody. Um, if somebody emails you and they say, hey, I haven't gotten my package or I didn't get my tracking notification. That was the other thing, yo. But I didn't get my tracking notification, so I don't know. I want to track my package. How do I do that? And you don't know who they are, right? You don't want to go through all your orders. It might be harder. Depending on what system you're using, you can use it from here. Or you can use that spreadsheet that I told you to use. But do your thing. All right, so settings. Really quickly, I'm almost done. In settings, um, you can change your account information, of course, the integrations, your payment method. Uh, your ship from address remember because if you go somewhere else you might want to change that and you can change the return address in case you move locations or you get a p.o box so maybe you started out in your house but now you're gonna buy a um, 
a box then so that people won't have your home address on your packages then you can update that address here but then tracking emails this is a huge thing for me so it's already set for the default and the subject will be ship your shipment is on its way so after i purchase that that label it can automatically email my customers which is why it asks for the customer's email address um i'll click preview so you can see it where is it preview mm. all right well we're not getting a preview right now <laughs> but if i edit it oh because i haven't verified my email address yet that's why but this is what it would say. It would say, we wanted to let you know that your package will ship on whatever the date that you put in ship date, remember? So it'll automatically put that there. So it won't, they won't see this. It will say it'll be on August 2nd, 2021 via um, priority USPS priority mail, or if you chose uh, first class, then that'll be in there. You can track your package anytime by using the link below. And so that way they don't even need all those numbers because everybody knows tracking numbers are long. They can just click the button and it'll take them to USPS's, to the post office's website, and they can track the package on there. You can change um, the wording and what this looks like so it can suit you best, which is why they have this up here. So you don't have to remember it. You can um, just literally write whatever you want in here. So um, I'll say, hey girl. <laughs> Or you can do, instead of girl, you can put, hey, and then recipient first name. So Jennifer will be auto-populated into this thing. Hey, Jennifer, your package is on its way. And you can just edit that and hit save. And then that will automatically be sent to your customers. And that's a really cool thing. It makes your business look like as great customer service and communication. And you're not even doing anything. You set that up one time and it'll automatically send it to your customers. You can also cut that off if you want to in settings. <laughs> I really just wanted to show you guys the back end of Pirate Ship and just how it works and some basics because I noticed some people had some questions just on how it works and its functionality. So I hope this answered your questions. Um, it has recommendations and teaches you how to measure your packages. I told you that, right? I also told you what scale I prefer. I'll link it down below, but I hope that this answered your questions and gave you a little more clarity. If you have any more questions, always feel free to ask me. It's no problem. I'm just trying to like make a resource um, immediately available for you so that um, it might just be simpler to look at it and see the back end without you having to sign up. I also needed to make this account anyway, so it worked out for both of us. <laughs> Have a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye.